Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about displacement, velocity, and acceleration vectors in this video. So any vector, no matter what type it is, can always be described by an arrow. So here's my arrow. Here's the tip. It points in the direction of the tip. And so the arrow, remember a vector has two parts. It has a magnitude, a number with units, and it has a direction that it can point in space. How does the arrow uh, take care of those two properties? Well, the length of the arrow, that's however long this is, that's how big the number is, relatively speaking. And the direction that it points in, in space, that's the direction that the vector points in. Uh, so we're going to talk about these three vectors, displacement, velocity, acceleration, and one dimension. I've drawn a one-dimensional axis here. It's horizontal. We usually call it the x-axis. I've placed an origin here, x equals zero. The positive direction is to the right. Negative direction is to the left. Let's start with uh, displacement. Suppose this ball is going to move around a little bit along the x-axis, and we're going to start it right here. Here's the initial position. Maybe the ball bounces around a little bit, does a couple of different things, and then finally it stops, comes to rest at this position. That's the final position. Now the displacement doesn't care about all that motion in between. The displacement is defined as a straight line directed from the initial position to the final position. So in this case, the displacement vector looks like this. The length of the vector describes the distance in meters, per se, from the initial spot to the final spot. And the uh, direction means that this displacement moved in the positive direction. So this is a positive displacement. We, we'd use a plus sign in front of that number, plus so many meters. Suppose we started here instead as our initial position, and you know, we moved around a bit, did some stuff, but we ended here, final position. What does the displacement look like now? Now it's an arrow that starts in the initial position and uh, has the length from initial to final position, and it points to the left in the negative direction. So this vector, this displacement vector, has the same magnitude, same length as the previous one, but the direction is opposite. It points in the negative direction. Let's consider velocity next. Velocity tells us uh, the rate at which our position changes with time. In other words, velocity tells us how fast we're moving and what direction we're going in. So for example, well, let's start out. Velocity is pretty easy with the directions. Uh, the vector arrow now, the length of it tells you how fast you're going. So this is slow, this is fast, and the direction that it points in tells you which direction you're going in. So if it points this way, this is towards the uh, right positive. If it points this way, this is towards the left negative. And uh, let me demonstrate here. So right now I'm not moving, and so the arrow is, and barely there is no arrow, so it's uh, shrunk to nothing. If I start to move in this direction, it points in that direction, it has a short length because it's got a slow speed. If I go faster, longer length. If I go in the opposite direction, here's, here is fast in the opposite direction and slowing down. And so that's velocity, pretty straightforward. Now the tricky one is acceleration. So heads up on this one. Get that? All right, so watch this. I've got a ball on a rubber band. I'm gonna throw it in that direction and it's gonna come back. Ignore when I'm throwing the ball and catching it, but look what happened when it's in the air. And I want you to think to yourself, what do you think is causing the acceleration? Remember, acceleration is defined as the change in the velocity. It tells us how the object is speeding up, slowing down, turning around, etc. So let's watch it. What's causing the acceleration in this case? If you guess the rubber band, you're right. The rubber band is the only thing causing acceleration after it's left my hand. And I want you to think about now, what direction does the acceleration point in, right? Is it pointing uh, this direction, this direction? Does it change when the ball changes? Uh, well, let's think about it because I can watch it again. There's a simple rule for figuring out the uh, relative directions of velocity and acceleration. And the rule is this, if the object speeds up, then that means that the acceleration and velocity direct vectors point in the same direction. If the object slows down, that means that the acceleration and velocity vectors point in opposite directions. So watch it again. 
On the way out, is the ball speeding up or slowing down? We know that the velocity is in the positive direction. Notice how it slowed down and stopped. Velocity that way, that means the acceleration must have been that way for the initial part. Now watch the ball as it comes back. Does it speed up or slow down? We know the velocity on the way back is negative towards me. Well, it stops way out here and it starts to speed up faster, 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 right? Since the velocity is that way and it's speeding up, the acceleration is also in that direction. And in fact, how could we uh, demonstrate that acceleration vector with the, the arrow? Well, it turns out you'll learn in the class that uh, the more you stretch the rubber band, the bigger the acceleration is. The rubber band is always pulling back this way. That's why the acceleration is always in that direction. And so we can expect that when I first throw it, the rubber band is not very stretched. So we have a little bit of acceleration in this direction. As we stretch it more and more and more, the acceleration is increasing, 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 right? Until we get all the way to the end, the biggest acceleration. And then as it comes back, the rubber band decreases. Acceleration is still pointed in the negative direction. It's smaller, 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 smaller. And so in this case, the arrow for acceleration, the length of the arrow is describing how much acceleration, how many meters per second squared, and the direction in this case, right, always pointed in the negative direction.